Alright, so what is up guys, SDPZ here, and today we're bringing you a video that people have been waiting for for a long time. Now, as you may have seen from the cinematics at the start of this video, we are showing you my setup for 2020. This would have actually been 2019, but I've actually made some changes since then. I also just didn't get round to filming the video. Uh, we've got some new things since then. We've definitely got a lot of new things since you last saw my setup. Um, it's safe to say it's changed a lot since then. Uh, I'll throw up a photo of it now. Uh, and that's what my setup used to look like and this is where we are now. So we're going to go around the whole setup, show you all the uh, things that are part of it uh, and Jade, the camera woman, is going to follow me around. Right, so we'll start with the gaming portion of this setup. The setup pretty much splits in two about here at the end of this microphone. Now we'll start with the microphone. On the microphone we have an Audio-Technica AT2020. It is an auxiliary powered microphone that plugs into a Focusrite Solo 1, which is over in the like uh, other part of the setup, so I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, and then we've got this little, like, uh, I can't even think what it's called. It's like it deflects like sound, so it makes it like makes your voice sound a lot nicer when you're talking. Which is why when I'm making videos, my voice sounds pretty crisp and clear. Down here we have my Elgato Stream Deck. Um, this obviously uh, when I am recording videos is very helpful. It's got loads of different tabs on it, so that's got all my editing softwares in it. Um, and then in here we've got all my different buttons. I haven't actually put pictures on them yet because it reset itself recently. But these all did have pictures for different buttons um, of what I am when I'm recording. So that's obviously record, change the scenes, and so on. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty useful. I can open different things like Spotify, YouTube, and Facebook. I've got a lot of. It's got a lot of functionalities. It needs more work to it because I haven't got all the functionalities on it that I probably uh, could be using it for. But it's a very cool bit of kit. If we move up to the top here, we have my webcam. This is a Logitech C920 uh, 1080p HD webcam, I think it's called. Uh, it's a fantastic webcam. It's a webcam used by most streamers, um, unless they actually use a professional camera, which is something I would like to do maybe in the future, maybe if I earn a bit more money. But at the minute, the webcam's pretty good. It shows you my face in HD, and that's all you guys need. I mean, I don't think you really need it. Nobody really wants to see my face in HD, but it does the job. Up here we have a Argos own product. We have, uh, rather than buying, oh god it's bright, rather than buying a proper uh, LED light ring, we've bought this from Argos. It pretty much turns my face from pretty dull and boring into a nice little, nice little brighten up. Uh, I look good, it makes my face look pretty for videos, um, so I don't look too ugly when uh, we're recording. Obviously the main piece of kit over here, we have a BenQ uh, monitor i can't actually remember it's ew2440 it's a 1080 uh, no yeah 1080p 40 hertz uh one millisecond response time monitor uh it's pretty class for gaming i'm not gonna lie i've had this for quite a while now um i love it to pieces although one day i might have to change it because when i was moving it from my house to jade's house it has got a tiny little scratch here on the screen which really really bugs me but i can put up with it because the monitor is so sick um I mean, realistically, I may just buy another one of these or something similar someday in the future. But to be honest, it's actually class and there's nothing wrong with it. You can't ever see it when you're gaming. You can only ever really see it when a monitor's off. So it's not the biggest problem in the world. It's fantastic because as soon as I press my buttons on my controller, it does it because it's a one millisecond response. I love it. Then we have an Xbox Elite controller. My girlfriend got me this uh, two Christmases ago, one Christmas ago. I can't really remember. Uh, it was a Christmas present. I know that. Um, she got me the white one because this one, this was uh, when the white one had literally just come out. Obviously, the black one had been out for a while. I don't, I love the white one because uh, I've sort of got white um, aesthetic, not aesthetic. That's the wrong word. White accessories is the right word. White accessories like the headset and the speakers and some other bits, but white accessories I thought looked quite cool against the black. So we went for the white. Obviously, it's got the uh, special paddles on the back that you can program to different buttons, uh, and obviously, it also has. The uh, trigger stops, so I can change that for Call of Duty, so it stops quicker. Uh, and it means, and also, I'm, I have to remember I turn it off for FIFA because my players stop sprinting. It. It's a bit, oh, it's a bit worrying. But this controller is absolutely sick. Obviously, you can change the different stick heights and everything. You can literally take loads of bits off the controller and just make it all personalised to yourself. I've got all the other bits in a box down there somewhere. It's very, very. Moving on, you have seen a review on this headset. We have an, or an, an unboxing. I thought you actually saw. We got an Astro A40 headset. This headset is fantastic. I love this piece. It did cost me a lot of money, but I also managed to, at the time, sort of mug off Argos and get like a free monitor replacement when I broke one of mine. Um, I saw, it was really clever actually how I did it. I, so I ended up actually getting this for like, not free, but the same price as the monitor would have cost me. So I thought, why not? 
Obviously comes with the A40 mix amp. Uh, we've both got, obviously got these in white because they look sick and it's another white accessory to match the controller in the gaming section. So it looks really, really cool. Um, this headset is fantastic. As you know, I've done a, uh, an unboxing on this and I use this in all of my gaming videos. This is brilliant. It literally is so comfy on your head. Obviously you've got the chance to sit it around your neck like this. It's obviously got the microphone so you talk to your friends. It's, it's class, man. For Call of Duty, that thing is unreal because literally I can hear footsteps everywhere. I love it. It's perfect. And with the mix sample, I can change the volumes of everything and change all the different settings. It is brilliant. Right, so obviously we also have the Xbox One round here, which is obviously what this is all powered by. I've had this for two, three, four, maybe even years now. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's actually the first model and I bought it a year after it came out because I couldn't afford it when it first released. Um, it's fantastic. I love this console. Uh, and obviously you've seen I've done a video on the new Xbox project and the new playstation 5 so i'm not sure which one of those i'm going to be buying but um it'll be cool to see what i upgrade to in the future we also got my macbook in here in a little case we've got my um gimbal box because my gimbal is actually the phone my phone is actually in my gimbal right now so this video is nice and smooth for you um we've got my dji mavic controller and the mavic air in the box down there we just keep those on the side of the desk so they're always handy to hand so i can pick them up whenever i need to take them away with me because they're sort of the things you put in your bag rather than sort of keep out on the desk. Right, so obviously we've got my gaming chair as well. Obviously I used to just have like a black office chair. Um, obviously you will have seen this in videos, but I've never shown this off in a setup before. It is called a JL Comferni. Uh, some absolute Chinese knockoff of a GTX, uh, GTR DX racer. Um, but it cost me 45 quid, it's black and white, goes with the setup, it's spot on, it's so comfy. No complaints. Right, so if you're wondering what the cage under the desk is, we actually have uh, Jade's rabbit under here, Clover. Um, he uh, obviously hasn't always lived in the bedroom, but um, while it got cold in the winter, uh, we saw Jade decided he needed to come inside because apparently he gets cold outside. Uh, so yeah, he lives under the desk now and he comes out and roams around the room. So yeah, when you hear in videos, um, loads of chewing sounds or metal like sort of really annoying noises. Um, and a lot of the time when I'm editing, this guy likes to make a lot of noise. So uh, I, maybe, if, I, I mean, to be honest with you, if I found some of the old clips, I could probably make a video uh, just out of moments where I shout at this rabbit when he's like starts throwing his cage around or something while I'm recording. But yeah, he's pretty cool. So if you wonder what the cage is, it's this guy down here. Right, so now we come over to the sort of PC editing side of the desk. I did actually also forget to mention that over there, obviously everything runs off an Elgato HD60. Uh, I'll show you that software in a moment. Um, so obviously that's how we record all the gameplay on the Xbox. When you see COD videos, FIFA videos, anything gaming related, obviously it all comes through that. It's a fantastic bit of kit. I used to just have a uh, HD... No, what did I have before? I actually didn't have it, even had an Elgato. Uh, have an Elgato before. I had an Elgato HD, but before that I had something else called a HD PBR, which was just an awful bit of kit, but good at the time. Uh, but that HD 60 is fantastic and does all the recording over there. Now, over to the PC side. As you can see, we've got dual curved 24 inch Samsung monitors here. These got these are absolute beasts. I love these things. I've had these for about three years now. I did actually when uh, obviously I used to have them on stands, but as you can see, they sit on this one singular monitor arm, so they are floating off the desk, which looks looks so much cooler than when they're on their stands. Uh, obviously, I used to have them on stands, and when I took one off their stand, I did actually break one. I literally put a screwdriver through one of the screens. Um, don't ask how I did that, but I did. I went to Argos and took back, because I just actually bought a new one. Uh, went to Argos, managed to take back, because obviously originally I only had the one monitor, so I bought a second one to, to make this work. Um, and I actually managed to get like a third one for free, because I said that this one was broke in the packaging, and it wasn't. Obviously, I broke it myself and managed to get a new one for free. They were pretty thick about it, but I actually managed to get a new monitor for free, so no complaints. These guys are absolutely sick, and obviously, when they sit together like this, I've pretty much got 48 inches of curved screen to work with, which is absolutely phenomenal. I can have loads of different programs open at once. So when I'm making videos, I can have my video software, my Photoshop, I can have YouTube, Spotify, recording software anything it is fantastic i just i love it it's so sick how i can have everything across there i wouldn't ever change that i'm so glad that i did go for the dual monitors in the end obviously these have been in the setup for a little while now we've got the logitech um the white accessories again i love the white accessories the white speakers we got they're fantastic little speakers um they do the job give me obviously good sound quality when i'm recording and and so on obviously listening to music watching youtube they're pretty fantastic to be fair to them they deserve a lot of credit for how they were actually i think only about 20 quid so they're actually fantastic value for money we have a belkin wireless charger that my phone that is recording this video normally just sits on uh, i did used to have a little phone stand but it was a bit clunky and a bit not aesthetically pleasing so i went for the wireless charger obviously because my phone can use that why not 
You have probably, I think you've seen the keyboard and mouse before, maybe not. Um, I bought this quite a long while ago now. Um, probably about, oh god, it's a bit dusty. Jeez. Bought this a little while ago. It's about, uh, I'd say about a year old, do you reckon? Um, and we've got, we've got a Corsair K90 RGB and a Corsair, I can't remember the name, mouse. Uh, the one that sort of matches with the RGB. Uh, obviously, they're both absolutely fantastic, as you can see. We've got the RGB lighting across there. Obviously, you can change this all in the IQ software on your PC, but I've got these, so they just um, do like a rainbow effect, spiral. It's so cool. I literally have this on all the time. I love this. I would never change it. I was so glad that I spent the money on these, because realistically, I think them two together is at least 250 quid, and I think I spent 75 to, or about ninety pound on the two. I had to drive to I think Desborough and uh, no Market Harbour, and obviously I live in Kettering, so it was about an hour drive. Um, but it was so worth it. I went with two of my mates, um, and it was absolutely class. Of course, they all sit on this extended mouse mat we've got here that Jade's mum bought me for Christmas last year. I did used to just literally sit them on the desk, but they look so much nicer on this mouse mat because everything sits on here. This is all your peripherals now. It's so nice. I really appreciate this, and it's, it actually is sick. Like it just does the job. It's black. It blends in the desk. It looks nice. We have got the Audio Technica DT770 Pro headset here. Now, this is the headset I use for when I'm editing videos. It is literally noise cancelling. I genuinely can't hear anything now. <laughs> it probably makes me shout a bit. Um, uh, so, but they are fantastic when I'm editing. They're really good heads. It's a really good headset for if you are a video editor of any description or you like to listen to your music because it really does give you a true sound rather than some sort of fake sound that maybe some other headsets may give you. It is absolutely fantastic. I love that to pieces. We have this 21 uh, glass that Jay got me for my birthday because I've recently been 21. We have a little coaster with a G on for obviously George from my name. Uh, obviously, I think Jay got me that as well. We've also got another white accessory down here. We have an Echo Dot. Now, I'm not going to say the word because it will set off all of yours uh, at home. If I say obviously the voice activation word, it will set mine off, set yours off, uh, and we just don't need that. It's just we just don't need that in our lives. It's just not what we want. So that obviously you know what that does, controls all the lights in the room uh, and also obviously does any other commands I ask. It can obviously also turn my Xbox on and off and turn everything all off in one go. It looks really cool. Um, I'm not going to show you that because I will set off your Alexis at home. So we don't need that, do we? Down here we've got my GoPro Hero 6 Black. Obviously I just use this when I go travelling, use this in Tenerife um, and I will be using this when I go to Cyprus with Jade this year. Uh, definitely we're making a cool holiday video this year. I've obviously already spoke about that in a video. This is sick. I love these pieces and you've got it really cheap considering what it is. I think I only paid about £90. I managed to sell my old GoPro Hero 3 or 4 for about 50 quid. So it cost me about £40 for a GoPro Hero 6 Black, which is ridiculous. Had to pick it up. Fantastic little camera. We've got my old camera here, my Sony NEX5 just sits on my desk. Uh, I did used to use this all the time for vlogging and everything. It's just a bit heavy now, especially when your my phone can record in 4K anyway. It's just a bit heavy, but I couldn't get rid of it. I have to keep it because it's a nice little memento. Obviously, the webcam, the um, light and the mic can all obviously come on top of this screen. And This is when I record just videos on my PC instead. So obviously, they all just move over and so on. That obviously looks pretty cool. We've got a nice little YouTube logo sort of type thing down here. So I aspire to obviously my dreams of YouTube. This is the Focusrite Solo 1 down here. This obviously records all of my sound. As you can see, it flashing green when I talk because it picks up sound on my microphone. So it plugs into here, goes into PC, and this is how I can tra control all of my audio. We've got a little USB hub here, so I've got some extensions for some more USB ports for the PC. Right, so obviously now on the wall we have acoustic foam. Uh, I didn't, I've only recently purchased this, as you know, if you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I recently purchased this, because apparently when I make videos and play Xbox at night, I'm actually really loud and really annoying to everyone else in the house. So with acoustic foam, it sort of blocks the sound out and makes me less loud and annoying. So hopefully that has worked for everyone. Uh, if you do live here, please let me know. <laughs> I feel really bad. So we bought loads of that to stop that from happening. On this shelf here, we have a lot of, if you know what they are, they are Funko Pops. These are all Avengers characters. I do actually have um, loads that don't even fit on this shelf. I've got loads down here, loads on the side that don't even fit on the shelf. We've actually got another little extension shelf that's going to go in here. So the foam will sit all below the shelf. So we can get more on. Because I've literally, we've got so many of these Avengers ones now. We've actually run out of space. So uh, this is sort of mine and one of mine and Jade's hobbies. We both love the Avengers. So we thought, why not collect them all? We thought that was pretty cool. On the wall here, as you know, we've got the sign picture of Pele. This is one of my, this is, well, I say one of mine. This is my prized possession. I absolutely love this thing. My dad got me this thing for my birthday a few years ago. 
I mean, th this is just dreams come true. Obviously, I did actually meet the man himself. I'll try and throw a photo in now. Um, I can't I remember if I'm able to find it on my phone, but I did actually manage to meet the man himself. I mean, what a dream come true that was for me. And I actually have the signed photo on the wall as well. It just means a lot to keep this up there because it is just a very cool memento. Up here, I did also, if you do, once again, if you follow me on Instagram, I do recently buy this, the on-air sign, neon light-up sign. This is very cool. It's just... A nice little sort of U a YouTube recording sort of thing that brings the whole setup in together. The on air I think looks really cool and obviously with all the rest of the lights, the LED strip behind there, the light in the corner, we've got a light over there that you always see in the background of my videos and there's one actually by the bed as well that lights up the room a bit. But uh, it's just a nice little, I like the, I'm a big fan of LED lighting and neon and so on so I thought this was really cool. I think it was only about £15 so I thought why not, it just looks sick. And then finally on this shelf here, we actually have um, one of my own collections. We have miniature alcohol bottles. Um, I love these things. I don't know why. Whenever I go to on holiday, I have to buy some new ones. As you can see, I've got quite a few now. Uh, I don't think I need to buy many more, really. I did just start off uh, when I went to Magla for my friends. I thought I, I bought. I think I bought about twelve there. Uh, and bought them at home as a collection. But since then, I've, every time I've been away, I've sort of spiralled into buying more. I do actually love them. I think they're really, really cool. We've got a nice little IKEA fake plant in the corner, aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing, and so on. Some shot glasses, and on here we've got a headphone hanger, uh, which I do keep my cable for my A40s on. And then also, if my, if I'm putting my headphones away. I'll hang them on here so they're out of the way and it just looks cool and neat and tidy. Right, so that has been my setup tour for 2020. Hopefully you guys have really enjoyed this. I love this. This year is my it's my pride and joy. I love this thing. This is how I make videos every day for you guys. Uh, obviously, don't get me wrong, none of it is cheap and it also hasn't been bought in in a day. This is things that I've accumulated over the last five, six, maybe even seven years of trying to build a setup. These are all things that I've accumulated over that time. Um, so I, it has taken me about seven years to save up for this, but it's pretty much at near perfection now of what I dreamed of seven years ago. I nearly have it all. I'd say I probably do. The only thing I really do now is if I upgrade things to slightly better versions of things and so on. And when I get a new console and whatever, maybe buy a new PC. But realistically, this is this is this is perfection now. This is where I've always wanted it to be. I'm really proud of it, and I really hope that you guys like it because it's taken me a long time to do this, and I'm very proud of what I've managed to achieve here. So hopefully, you guys really like it as much as I do. That is obviously the plan. So hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please drop a thumbs up on the video. It would really really appreciate it. Let's try and get 10 likes on this video. Show some love for the setup tour because I know you guys have been asking for this for quite a while now. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you are new around doing. Hit that notification bell because we do upload every single day at 6pm and you'll get a notification straight to your phone so you'll never miss out on the new content every single day. Especially this weekend, we've got a few bangers coming out so you don't want to miss out on that. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you want to stick around the channel and uh, we'll reach the next subscriber goal of 500 sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching and peace.